what's up guys yeah so this is gonna be a different video i guess and yeah i look battered i'm just tired i haven't had much sleep i've been working and yeah today's the day today's the day we get to see aquaman the aquaman trailer so i've been waiting i thought the trailer was gonna be out by 5 p.m and yeah i haven't sat behind a computer and clicked refresh so many times it's been a while since I've done something like that in anticipation. I am really, 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 really looking forward to seeing this movie or seeing the trailer at least because I'm a DC fan and a lot is riding on this particular movie. So I am here with my friend Nay. Hello. And yeah, we are going to see this trailer and we are going to just react to it. It's not much of a review. Maybe we'll throw in our reaction to the Young Justice new season as well. But, okay, I, I guess I can just talk about that quickly because the new season of Young Justice is interesting. I mean, Nay here was complaining about the fact that there were big bats. Yeah, that's what you said? Yeah, the big bats were very big bad, like dark side. Yeah, so, and that's like a Justice League level villain. And yeah, but I guess, I don't know. Watching the trailer personally for me, um, the beginning was a bit lengthy for me because I just rewatched the entire season one and season two of Justice of Young Justice on Netflix like a month ago. So everything is fresh in my mind and watching them go back. I'm, I mean, I guess they wanted to refresh everybody's mind on everything, but yeah, that was fun and all. all. But seeing seeing ev everybody now, I was of the opinion seeing this trailer. I mean, it was a little different from what I expected because when um, Young Justice two ends. Um, Wally West Flash is lost basically and when we returned I mean it's been years and that happened pretty much before uh, DC um, New 52 of the DC comic universe so it was very interesting I mean all of that happening and then so I thought that when they were coming back and I felt that there was a right time to come back because um, while it was coming out of the Speed Force or having disappeared into the Speed Force and returning was the trigger for DC Rebirth, which was a soft reboot for um, the DC comic universe from the New 52. So I thought that's how they were going to go about it, that Wally West comes back and then it will tie in line with the comics pretty well. But yeah, that's not what they are going for, I think. I feel like that's what they're kind of going with. I'm not 100% certain. But I hope this Young Justice has a lot of good, solid tie-ins to the rest of the DC animation universe because like the death of Superman just happened. It would be very, very cool if Superman is not in the Young Justice right now it will be pretty cool because he's supposed to be dead but obviously seeing that the superboy is different from the superboy in the death of superman so i guess i don't know how they're working the timelines and everything but yeah the, i'm really looking forward to young justice it's coming sometime next year i've waited for this show for a very very long time very very long time and i'm glad i'm glad it's happening Nate, do you have anything to say um, nothing tough nothing <laughs> okay so yeah i'm still gonna be refreshing and hopefully this trailer will be back it will be on by the time i'm done refreshing i don't know man it's 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 taking a while so when it comes we'll definitely talk about it so i just checked the comic-con um schedule for today and yeah i'm guessing the warner brothers panel will be done by like 5 30 p.m gmt and it's 5 48 5 49 so i'm guessing probably by six o'clock i'll get to see something because i really need to get some sleep and it's gonna be i'll probably not be as excited as i would have been if i was fully energetic but hey it is what it is but Let's see how this goes. So it's about 8, 8 p.m. GMT and all the trailers are out. Like I ended up hearing about a lot more trailers. I'm not going to talk about the others. I'll do that tomorrow. I'm very tired. I was working. That's why I couldn't see it. But the Aquaman trailer is out. Shazam is also out. Surprising. I'm surprised they brought a Shazam trailer. So I guess we'll just look at the both of them. And... Um, yeah, what do I have to say? So we'll start with the Shazam trailer and 
Yeah. You run from foster homes in six counties. I can take care of myself. When you're 18, give these people a chance. Because that's what they're giving you. This is Billy Batson. Make sure you make him feel at home. Is he nice? If don't buy it. It gets real Game of Thrones around here. Dude, just messing around. You look at me and you're like, why so dark? You're a disabled foster kid. You've got it all. If you could have one superpower, what would you pick? Everybody chooses flight. You know why? So they can fly away from this conversation? No, because heroes fly. What, you need your fake family to stand up for you? Hey. Man, sorry about that. Go, go, go! Grab it! Get out of the way! Billy Batson. I choose you. I should be smoking, man. I choose you. Hello? Say my name so my powers may flow through you. But I don't know your name, sir. Say my name, Shazam. Are you for real? Say your king! Shazam? Ah, ah, this means Billy! What is happening? You're the only person I know that knows anything about this Cape Crusader stuff. Can I? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, right? What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude, I don't even know how to be in this thing. AM to the BM, BM to the AM. You have super strength. Just can you fly? If I quit your BM, I still rock the same. If I quit this season, I still be the same. You okay? Why are you talking? BM. Sit down. You know, I don't think that's gonna buff out. Your phone's charged. Your phone's charged. What the hell? Think like a bad guy, right? You have bullet immunity! I'm bulletproof. <laughs> you're dead. Sorry about your window, but you're dead. welcome for not getting robbed. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm a superhero. Um, okay, so just finished seeing the Shazam, and Nay is throwing a fit right there <laughs> yeah he is not happy um personally i'm not really digging this man i i i still think like zachary levy that's his name i hope uh yeah i still think he's not the best option for the role and the suit looks weird everything about the movie looks weird i mean i feel like the action could be dope and we didn't see any action but i don't know i'm not really liking this trailer like it's not doing much for me i'm not i'm not gonna want to see this immediately but all in all i mean the jokes i don't know i don't know it's it was <laughs> i mean for a first trailer it was just okay and maybe it was probably a little better than how bad i thought it could be so if i was told to rate it i'll probably give it a five it's average and there's a lot of room for growth because I feel like they've rushed through this because just a few months ago I heard about them starting um, shooting Shazam so maybe they rushed through it to give us something to see but I don't know anyway to the most important thing the reason why I am still awake right now and that is Aquaman now the, the interesting thing is that I really want this trailer to be lit like I get that he is the water dude, but this trailer has got to fire. Like, let's just check it out. My father was a lighthouse keeper. My mother was a queen. But life is a way of bringing people together. Look at you, man. Our one day. Check it out. Off. 
Luther is talking to the fish. with this one like I mean James Wan has done an amazing job like I mean the underwater world is and everybody had a problem in the Justice League movie when um, Arthur went underwater and had to talk to Mera and then she created the like she parted the water so that we could talk like them talking underwater is so beautiful the underwater world for this movie is is stunning Sorry, David Cameron, if you had released Avatar 2 earlier, you could have probably been heralded or you could have probably got a lot of props for your stunning imagery and everything. But I feel like James Wan really beat you to it. And this is amazing. Aquaman trailer is really dope. My only problem so far is that I am hoping they don't employ Bathos, which is one of my main problems with um, the Marvel Cinematic Universe and Bathos is basically where there's a very serious um, issue or there's a very serious thing going on in the scene and then it is undermined by a quip or some funny unnecessarily funny pun or joke something that didn't need to be there like you basically didn't ride the, the scene you just cut it short to be funny but yeah, Aquaman is looking. I mean, this is the dude who gave us, who pretty much changed the gears in the Fast and Furious franchise. So, yeah, this is fire. I, I am, I am liking it. I'm probably gonna watch it again and probably watch it again before I sleep. But I'm loving this trailer. The colors are amazing for a DC movie. I mean. It's quite bright and it's it's stunning. The world is stunning. Everything about it is is just stunning. James Wan, man, you 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 killed it with this one. You 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 really you you have outdone yourself. I am so glad I didn't sleep and I waited for this. So yeah, so this is actually my first reaction video. Tomorrow I'll drop more reaction videos for the other trailers. I saw the um trailer link for um fantastic beasts and whoo so i guess we'll talk about that later so i'll catch you next time stay safe guys
Okay, so I'm watching the trailer again, and I don't know who's doing your CGI at Warner Brothers, but you guys need need to to get someone new or someone better. Like, you guys really need to push with your CGI team. Your CGI has been lacking a lot, and it shouldn't be the case because DC stories are very very out there and crazy so i mean because of the level of cgi i've seen over the years with some of your work apart from the man of steel the man of steel cgi was actually extremely good for me at least especially ferra and um clark's fights in smallville it was good looking the high speed and everything it still looked good but it makes me even more afraid to see the green lantern movie which would be very very cgi intensive if you guys are doing this i mean i'm looking at the trailer again and i was a bit iffy about the scene where arthur was a kid and the whole shark thing the shark cgi is kind of weird i was kind of finding nemo vibe but but it was good you guys need to just i don't know man there are people there are lots of people out there who are looking for jobs who are amazing talent and they wouldn't charge you 15 million dollars to get rid of a mustache So, I'm back again. I thought I was gone, but Black Manta actually looks much better than I thought he would. Like, I thought he, yeah, when I saw the stills, he didn't look so good, but seeing him in action, he, he, he looks stunning, quite good. I, I don't know. Man, James Wan, man, man.